Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we're talking a new hair product. Let's jump straight in. We're looking at Garnier Ultimate Blends. It is a new product, a completely new, could potentially be revolutionary. However, it is fantastic for the environment, and that is a product which I absolutely love. I love to review products, but especially products which are really, really taking responsibility for the sustainability and for looking after our environment, um, our sort of footprint, whatever we are using, looking after what happens to the packaging, the actual product itself, and in terms of how consumers use the product too. And that is this product here. What am I talking about? Let's have a look at it. So it's Garni Ultimate Blends, which I have reviewed on my channel many times before. Great products, great level of quality, and of course, for a low level of cost but however this is completely different this is no rinse conditioner okay and first off what i just want to tell you about on the packaging is it's it's really cool because i like this because straight off most of the packaging is actually cardboard now you wouldn't actually know that either until you had a look on the back but what it says here is 75 percent less plastic with our tube made from cardboard so let's start looking into it a little bit more detail. So we've got zero water waste, saves up to 100 litres of water per tube. So of course, think how much water you use when you're washing your conditioner out. Men, woman, doesn't matter. Long hair, yep, can be taking quite a long time. Short hair, still takes a little bit of time sometimes to, to get the conditioner out of your hair. No matter what type of hair type you have got, you've still got to turn the tap back on. With this, you don't actually need to. Now, when I seen this, when I went into uh, uh, local boots where I live into my hometown, um, I'm always looking out for products to review for hair. It's a passion of mine. I absolutely love it, particularly for fine hair and particularly for keeping our hair as healthy and as resilient and as strong and as healthy as possible to keep it growing as great as it can be, to be quite honest with you. So I love reviewing all different products and especially innovative ones like these. So we know it's zero water waste. We know it's Gunny Ultimate Blends. We know it's uh, natural 98 origin of ingredients. It's a no rinse conditioner, strengthening its honey treasures. They also have one for sensitive uh, scalp and fragile hair. They also have one for intense nourishment for dehydrated hair as well. Today, we are looking at the honey treasures. My mum was with me and she bought the dehydrated hair when she has very, very super long hair. It's coloured, so she bought that one as well. However, my hair is highlighted, so potentially it dries and occasionally it may even break because you know what? That's what bleach does. Let's be honest. Anybody who tells you otherwise, I'll be quite honest, they're lying because bleach completely changes the texture of your hair, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman. If you've got curly hair, fine hair, thick hair, straight hair, bleach changes the integrity of the hair, so therefore you need a lot more nourishment. So this is why I've bought the intense nourishment, less breakage. So I thought this was really great. It's for damaged hair, prone to breakage, no silicones for a natural feel, great, leaves no residue. Amazing, because my first thought, okay, so you've shampooed your hair, then you would normally jump in with, I don't know, mounds of conditioner throughout your hands, all the way through lengths and ends of your hair, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then use lashings of water to wash it off. That's what people have done for years, isn't it? Absolutely. If you've got coloured hair, hydrated hair, you may even use a few other different products in that process as well. With this, you don't. So let's read a bit more. Okay, so it's a no rinse conditioner. It's strengthening. Stop rinsing the goodness off. I really, really like that. Okay, so intense nourishment, zero water waste for the planet. Our first no rinse conditioner blended with a nourishing formula with strengthening Akia honey and protecting beeswax. Blended with sustainably sourced honey and sustainably sourced beeswax uh, plant oil. Without uh, and then we've got here blended with, uh, blended without no silicones for a natural feel. And then here our results are gently restorative uh, formula will leave your hair feeling soft and silky to the touch. Dermatologically tested, suitable for the family. So anybody can use this. Hmm. Let's keep going. Okay, so easy to use and faster. And that's where it starts getting interesting. So after shampoo, apply to a small amount to wet hair from mid lengths to ends. Do not rinse. Okay. Dry and style as usual with or without a hairdryer. Okay. Let's talk. Okay. So after I've shampooed my hair, okay, I've used this a handful of times. I'll be very honest with you. The first time I used it, I thought, what a load of rubbish. Absolutely what a load of rubbish. I used a small amount in my hands, put it through the lengths and ends of my hair. And bear in mind, this is highlighted. 
So anybody who has highlighted hair knows that when you wash it, when you use conditioner on your hair, sometimes you need to use like a little bit of a leave-in oil or a leave-in spray to help the integrity glide through the hair as you're combing through it. Or it can be quite knotty. It can be quite texturous, to say the least, to be able to pull it through and to get a smooth, sleek hair. Right. So I used it a little bit throughout my hair, putting it through after I'd washed it, thinking, OK, this is a bit strange. Straight off, it was really, really knotty, really, really tangled. Hmm. OK, wasn't a great fan of this. Then got a comb. I thought, how on earth are you just going to be able to leave this? So what I've done is I gave it a couple of minutes. OK, came back to it and then gently brushed through it with a comb, with a white tooth comb. Fair enough. Perhaps some people might think, what on earth are you doing when your hair's wet? But I needed to get ready for work. So I used a little bit of this throughout my hands. Not very much at all. I would say about the size of a 10 pence piece. OK, um, first time I used a bit too much. So 10 pence piece would be enough for my type of length of hair, okay? And then I find as you're getting through it, you can add a little bit more, but don't just jump in with absolute copious amounts straight off. So I brushed it through first of all, and I thought, okay, it's not really making my hair very smooth. It's not really doing much conditioning, great. So I took a band, okay, you don't know where this band, so I just took a normal black band, okay, and then sort of done like a men's top knot at the back, and then left it. A couple of hours, I'm not saying you can leave it for a couple of hours, but then I come back to it and I thought, you know what, it still looks wet. I got a comb and I brushed it through and I kid you not, it had left my hair feeling so soft, so smooth, I was genuinely taken back by the condition of my hair through a product which didn't need to, to wash any of that nourishment out. And then it got me thinking, I was expecting to be able to glide this through, out, through my hair straight away. So what I would suggest is it's a completely new type of product, so a no rinse conditioner. You have to approach this very, very differently. You cannot expect to then be able to just brush through your hair after you've shampooed your hair, because very often that can sometimes knock things up. If you're going in with a no rinse conditioner, then you have to think again, don't you? Really, let's be honest, it's a different type of product. So therefore, our approach has to be different. The way we use it has to be different. We're not washing it through warm water to make it silky, to make it glossy or anything like that at all. You're just leaving it, to be quite honest with you. So if you were using a blow dryer, give yourself time, wide tooth comb, even use your fingers to pull through your hair, dry it off that way, and then you'll get a really, really great result. I use a blow dryer. It gives a really nice sheen. It makes the hair feel healthy. It makes the hair feel really nice with a little bit of natural texture. When I just left it, I left it, as I say, first time for a couple of hours. So I was busy. I worked from home, and then I went back to it in the day. Whereas when I used it for, I've only used it for about a handful of times. So then when I used it again, after a couple of times, bear in mind there's only about a handful of times, so we're now talking about the fourth time I used it, it's left my hair after about half an hour, brushed it through again, ready to go, left my hair feeling really nourished, really smooth, and I was genuinely surprised about what it does to my hair. Okay, so I use several different products, but genuinely the conditioner, the no rinse conditioner, has made my hair feel really very, very nice. Okay, I actually would buy this again. So this product is £7 when it's not on offer. It was £3.50. I bought this from Boots here in the UK. What I love, and I want to tell you a little bit about it more here, is it says, together, let's take action for the planet. And I love that. I love sustainability. But what I don't love is when you buy a product or you buy something for which you're supporting sustainability, and then it looks completely different. Okay, I know a product would have to be, it would have to look different to be able to uh, be good for the environment, but not always. And I hate that when they're kind of almost taking packaging away and things like that. Okay, some packaging, yes. But if you can make packaging sustainable, how fantastic is that? That's what I like here. So you can see straight away they've got rid of all this unnecessary plastic at the bottom. And then you can actually feel that the packaging is different. OK, and I really, really like that. But straight away here, it's a no rinse formula, saves up to 100 litres of water per tube. Fantastic. 75% less plastic with our tube made from cardboard. Great. And it's got here, Garnier commits to green beauty. So uh, more solidarity sourcing, greener... Uh, greener sciences and formulas, more eco-design uh, packaging, more renewable uh, energies, and approved by cruelty-free international, which of course is a must. So I absolutely love this. It does take a little bit of getting used to, okay. But you know what? This, I reckon, is going to be 
quite revolutionary. I really do. I'm sorry that when you look at it on here, by the way, as well, I'm not ma amazing with my uh, camera lighting or anything like that at the moment. You can't really see. Um, you can't really see it amazingly. So what I'll do, at the, the front of this clip, I'll make sure that there is a, a very clear picture for you to be able to see it. So apologies for that. Um, but this I absolutely love, and I wholeheartedly recommend this, because if you have got short hair, you're a man watching this, and you haven't necessarily got time or you don't necessarily leave yourself too much time in the morning and um, perhaps you're not necessarily a morning person this product is great because what it is it cuts so much time because how much time does it take if you're using conditioner to wash all that out as well forget it as soon as you've shampooed your hair use a little bit of this and you're ready to go it gives you back time in your routine to be quite honest with you as well and another thing what i quite like about this is if I didn't want to brush it through, I could use a little bit like this as almost like a conditioning sort of product. It's not intended to be a styling product, but I used a little bit of this, honed it back, quite roughed it up a little bit, and then used a normal black band and with like a men's top knot on the back. It looked really, really cool. It looked really, really great. So number one, it's looking after my hair. It's gave me a bit of a great style. And I know that when I'm going to brush this out, it's going to be super soft and well looked after. That is why I love this product and I continue using it. I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. It is very, very different. So I certainly do recommend this, bearing in mind I'm not affiliated or connected to Garnier at all in any way, shape or form. It's just a really great product. And if I find a really great product, then I'm going to shout about it and I am going to be honest. Okay, so really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. Until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.